starting at red buff, level 1. With my W. This gives me a really, really healthy clear. And also sets me up for a nice, easy peasy, lemon squeezy red buff into Krogs, into blue buff. Simple, nice, efficient. Don't really have to use my brain about pathing. You just do this. Great thing about taking Krugs early is you only need to take three camps to get level three. Which is what I rush when I play Lee Sin. I want to get level three ASAP because Lee Sin level three is really strong. Like having... I mean, he's he's okay level two. Sometimes I would look for level two gank. Like right now I do Krugs and then like look for level two gank. Uh, if I'm starting bot side, maybe do the same thing. But... I much prefer just getting level 3 and then playing for that. Let me show my runes right here. We've got electrocute, more burst damage, sun impact, damage when we come out of W and Q, ghost poro because we're going to be keeping our wards all game so we get a little bit extra vision there. It's really nice. Ingenious hunter when we get stacks of that reduces our trinket cooldown so more wards. Uh, triumph, alacrity and then we also have attack speed, AD and armor in our runes. So we're going to play for this bot side right here. I'm just going to take this blue and then look for that gank. We are 84 LP in D2, but my MMR for some reason is terrible. So even though I've won like 9 of my last 10. So I'm only getting like plus 13 and plus 14. Does can't have his W up soon? Okay, I actually misplayed that pretty hard. But it's fine. I didn't think I was going to hit that Q. This is pushing for the enemy team, but... Right, this is this is, this is is why I kind of suck. Because I don't know whether I should just be pushing this. Because I kind of feel like I should be. It's pushing anyway. But knowing me, I try and push it. And we'll just push so slowly. That I just end up taxing my bot laner. And fucking them up. And I don't, really don't want to do that. We're going to go for the spot crab. And then I might hover around bot side again. Something else I didn't mention about Krogs, as well guys, when you take your Krogs as your first camp, is it means that they respawn at 420 or so, and it gives you a really a really easy, like, first clear. A really simple first clear, where, like, right now, for example, I can just recall, and then just head back to Krogs, and just work my way down the jungle again. Also on Lee Sin, I do not like taking Chicken Camp until I have upgraded my jungle item. Wow, that sucks. I'm going to go for red smite this game. Blue smite, sorry, I lied. Going for blue smite. <clears throat> so once you've got this, or red smite, then you can do chickens. But your AoE is crap until you've got the talisman here. So this effect basically means damage, damaging a monster with a spell or attack steals their health and burns them. And that works with AoE abilities. So if you have AoE, it basically just means that you're able to do AoE, but if you've just got Machete, then it's purely from your... It's, it's all about your auto attacks if you've got Machete. And that's good on Lee Sin, because you are attacking mostly. That's why you go Machete, but it does make your AoE kind of crap. So I like to skip chickens early. And then when I have this item, this is when I then go for chickens now. I do want to look mid though, actually. I do chickens into mid. Gonna communicate that. I'm doing this because this gets me level 5. I want to get level 5 before I... Okay, this is fine. Before I gank this, just so that I'm a bit healthier here. Nidley's only level 4. Okay. So, I don't know if Nidley's counter ganking, but I'm pretty sure we win this anyway, right? I don't know if this is warded. Could be. Does he have flash? He doesn't have flash. I don't think we can get this. Did I walk on something? I did, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna put a ward down there. Mmm, what the f Okay. I'm gonna go top here. I think I can slide through like this. So Pantheon has pretty good gank setup because they just jump and stun. And Kyle as a champion is someone we do want to try and punish a bit early if we can. But... So right damage. Pantheon was a little bit more on the ball there. We could probably have got killed her. 
Or at least got a roll, but it's fine. Honestly, even even a gank like that is so decent. Because we push her out of the uh We push her out the out the lane. Oh now he's going aggressive, I like that. So it's engaged with the blue smite here. I can't get a cure off because I'm in minions, so I'm just right clicking her. Nice, beautiful stuff. It's good to keep your eyes on the minimap for TPs like that that you can punish. Greedy TPs are pretty, well, greedy. <laughs> Annie's missing, am I gonna face her and die? Okay, fingers crossed there's no Annie here. If there's an Annie here, I'm probably dead, but that's fine. We just type better mid wins in chat. I'm really close to level six as well, this crab gets me six. I probably wanna play for the dragon actually here, don't I? Okay, I can die of Annie though. Is she gonna push out? She's sort of pushing out here. So we're just gonna ward hop in. Oh my god, I missed my Q. It's fine. Now I just need to check this dragon real fast. I would push this, but we don't know where, if Nidalee's on dragon or not. That's really okay. She's not on dragon. That's fine. I just really don't want to lose Infernal for free. I don't have flash or ulti, so. I don't really want to make an aggressive play here. If I make an aggressive play, oh god, and I don't have all my tools available, then if something goes wrong, I'm dead. Oh gosh. That's not great. Well, we're going to hold this spot then, I guess. That's probably going to be Inferno as well. There's not too much I can do about that. I'm going to try and steal it, but it's probably just going to die here. Like, we have no vision. My mid lane is also recalled here. The benefit of my bot lane dying like this, though, <coughs> is that I get a lot of gold. So I can get my war enchant now. Get my war enchant, get my shoes. And then we just go top to bot here. So I'm going to just go whoop. Actually, I might look for a top gank as well. Good thing about this lane is I don't need my ult to gank it. And having blue spite especially gives me a better chance of getting a successful gank off. It's like what I did last last gank, where you just jump into the lane and then you just smite them. Yeah, War enchant is so good. Like playing playing to get an early War enchant is great. Or just being aware of when you can get your War enchant is really important. Oh god. Because like having 60 AD on Warrior Enchant compared to the one longsword I had, I got 50 AD. That is actually disgusting. Like it's a nutty. Kale is here. I don't know if I ult's up. Ult has a long cooldown on Kale, but I Really? She flash ulted. Why are you blaming me? She flash ulted, bro, as I was kicking her. What do you want me to do? I nearly flashed. Just a bit aggressive there, honestly, from my team. Need to chew a little bit. TP is up. Mm, she actually has no mana here, and this is a this is pinked in the try. I might be able to kill this Kale here. She has no mana. She has no ult. But she does have mana actually. I'm gonna go for this. Like we know she's gonna run away here because I mean she has to, right? Look how much damage I do. You're mine. I really want to go for this crab. I am leaving my bot lane. Like, I'm kind of hanging them out to dry if I do this. When I say crab, I mean herald. I tend to play for these early objectives a, a bit more. People don't often expect them. And I don't think they know I'm here. I'm, I'm just judging by where the laners are. Position of Annie especially. I'm gonna ping this so that my team knows I'm on it. Oh, never mind, there's Nidalee. Okay, I don't know how that missed me, but that's fine. I'm actually gonna give this a Pantheon here. It's 
So if we get this herald onto Pantheon, I'm not even gonna take. Uh, no, I'm not even gonna take the gold. He's just gonna get solo gold there. Like Pantheon as an as a champion is so strong early game and he snowballs so hard and especially against Kale, I feel like he can kind of just farm that Kale. I don't know whether this is a good thing to do for solo queue though. I feel like for solo queue this is kind of risky. I think for solo queue, it's probably better that I share that. I should I should probably have shared this here. Maybe I could have actually got the tower as well. But he gets a lot of gold there. I basically just like gave him a, a kill and a half. Which is nice. I think it depends who you're aiming to give it to and who you're playing. I think Lee Sin is a ch as a champion can carry. So if you give him gold, that's not necessarily a bad thing. There are some champions where you just really don't need gold. Mostly the tanks and the support star champions. Nice. So if you're playing those kind of champs, you really don't want to take more gold than you need to. I don't think these guys have late. They have KO, but I honestly don't think they have late. Okay, I do want to play for that tower top. Good thing about playing for Pantheon and getting an early tower is it unlocks him to roam around a lot better. And a Pantheon that can freely roam is really, really, really nice to your team. For very obvious reasons, because of his ult. It does a lot of damage as well. Is he TPing or...? I don't even think I need to ult her here. She's just I don't know what she's doing here. Uh oh. Okay. I wasted my Q there, I was a bit worried actually. It's another infernal fuck. Hmm. We get first blood tower here though. Yeah, I know this is Well, yo, I was there for the last infernal. That was your fault. Okay, I have ult and Kale doesn't. I think we can dive her here. Yeah. I mean, that is, that is actually kind of bad for me to be top right there. I don't know, though. I don't know. Nice. There's no, there's no real counterplay, let's be real. There's no real counterplay. I didn't even have to ult. She's just dead. Uh, I have I have some wards here. I should probably put some down. Can we get this? I'm using my abilities here for my passive to help me take this tower. Nice. All right, let's go for this blue. Nilly's level nine, but she has no defensive items. I don't think I can one shot her. I'm actually just gonna recall here. So I don't I don't think I can one shot her because I'm sitting on two K gold. I'm looking at the teams here, the enemy teams and stuff, like what I want to build and what I want to buy. Because they do have some magic damage on their team, I am going to go for... Hmm. Hmm, yeah. I am going to go for this Hex Drinker. But... I tend to play Lee Sin. My favorite build on Lee Sin is to do War Enchant into Starrix. I find that really... That's like really good. That gives me a crap ton of... Gives me a lot of damage, but I'm also actually pretty tanky. I prefer doing that to Cleaver, because I, I just think Cleaver's like, the armor stack shredding on Cleaver is kind of meh, honestly, and the CDR as well is also pretty meh. Like you're not limited by cooldowns on Lee Sin, you're limited by energy. Like it's very, I mean, it does happen that your abilities are on cooldown, but it's mostly just whether or not you have the energy to cast them, apart from your ult obviously. Right, can I kill Kale here? She probably has ult this time. Tower? Okay. Fuck. 
she's dead. Okay, I misplayed that a bit. Flash Q was fine, but I shouldn't have followed it up until she'd cast her ult. Should have baited that out to see whether she would have taken it. That's also a fight where I think Conqueror and Red Smite would be better. It's an argument for why people do a lot of Conqueror. Because if you're in any kind of extended fight, then Conqueror has time to, to like ramp up. Like in that fight, I'd have had my Conqueror going. Give me a bit more damage. And Red Smite as well in 1v1s is really nice. If you're doing if you're doing a 1v1, like an extended 1v1, Red Smite is great because it reduces the damage you take by 20%. Which is absolutely ridiculous for for 1v1s. Like, actually disgusting. It's like having an Ignite. I have no ulti for 30 more seconds. We're just going to clean Nidalee out here. Counter jungling the enemy when you're winning is good strategy. Because it makes it quite hard for the enemy to get back into the game. Okay. Nice life awareness, Foxy. Imagine, imagine thinking you could outplay a Ryze. Imagine that. Yeah, rethink your approach, dickhead. <clears throat> How many Ghost Poison have I put down? Two? That's not a lot. I, have, I haven't really used it in my wars very well. It's okay. I think actually... Wait, do I have a... No, I don't. Yeah, I think I've just been a bit slacking, actually. So we've taken Nidalee's Gromp, we took her walls, we took her blue, now we've taken her red, her Krugs are dead as well. And I'm gonna take these chickens, like, what does Nidalee do now? Because her whole team needs to farm, right? Everyone on their team, like, they're not gonna give Nidalee farm. Like, who, who's gonna sacrifice farm to give it to Nidalee? Caitlyn? Annie? Kale? No, no one's gonna give it to her. So what does she do now? Nothing. She's just, she's just fooked. It's just how it is. It's just how it be. And again, because my bot lane here is pushing out quite far and playing playing quite aggressive, I am <coughs> going to just play play around them a little bit, just hover around. Because there's a good chance that they're going to play aggressive and maybe my presence can help them. And this game doesn't really matter that much because they're kind of just stomping, but... That is a difference maker sometimes, just having the extra person there. I'm on a lot of gold here actually. Let's get this crab. Jesus, I'm really rich this game actually. Uh, I'm just gonna go for this cleaver here. I can't do Sterics and Hex Rinker sadly, so I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm gonna get two control wards outside of lane phase. Or during the lane phase, I tend to just pick up the one control ward when I'm out and about. But during the uh, outside the lane phase, I get two. So this means that I can actually use, I can use it to sweet vision, especially if you're playing for Baron. It's really important that you have control wards. Or I can use it as like a ward hop. And I'm probably not going to need to use it as a ward hop this game because I'm pretty doing pretty well for my ward stacks here. This thing is dying so fast. That is actually grim. It, 20 minute rise doing it this fast. I don't know why he does it that fast. Oh, <laughs> oh no. No, Caitlyn. Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Ah. Get some vision over here, so if we end up making a play, we can see what's going on, and we there's a lower chance of us getting caught by like thresh cues and stuff like that. Nearly spears. <laughs> First time. Just playing it slow. We don't need to dive or anything like that. I mean, now that I've said that, I guarantee you we're gonna dive, but <laughs> I jinxed it. Um, 
And that's that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Fight on. Nice. Alright, because I'm getting crappy LP, I'm probably going to have to win another one before I get into my promos. 98 LP, I'm getting plus 14. You know what's actually sad is I've lost, I lost one game today. I lost one game today. I played six games. We won five of them. And the one that I lost, I got minus 17. And the ones that I've been winning, I get either 13 or 14. And now I'm only two LP away from my promos. It's like, if I had, it literally, if I just not lost that one game, or if I had had, if I had had equal, uh, like, LP gains, then I'd be fine. But no. I had to only go and get 98 LP. All right, guys. Love the vids. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, Riot Wazza. Oh, I played with this Thresh last game. It was Yumi. But yeah, guys, we're streaming this live. FPLG Slash Fox Shop Log. I'll give us a cheeky little follow if you want to see these things live. Go follow me on my social media as well. Links to those are in the description. If you're watching this on the stream right now, I actually am going to head off now. It's a little bit late and I am very tired. So thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. And I will see you in our next